if y is directly proportional to x, that basically means that um, as x doubles, y doubles, as x triples, y triples, and so on. And what that means is you get a straight line that goes through the origin. So any straight line that goes through the origin is correct. Technically, actually, we should include negatives. Um, often in direct proportional questions, you don't get that. But this would be the ideal answer. It's essentially the equation y equals kx. Um, this results from y equals mx plus c, but c is zero because it goes through the origin and we replace the gradient by k because we typically call this k the constant of proportionality and sometimes questions rely on you finding uh, that out. Sketch a graph of y equals x cubed. Um, well, to be honest, if you've forgotten how to do that, then you could use the table function on your calculator to tabulate some values. Um, you could maybe try one and cube it and go there, and then try two and cube it and it jumps up, and then do similar on the other side. And these are just sort of, I know I have to sketch it, but I'm sort of helping myself out in some sense. So minus one cubed is minus one, and minus two cubed is minus eight, and that can help you draw the graph, and it looks a bit like this. Technically, actually, it, um, it, it's quite flat. Uh, I've not really drawn the scale that well. Um, probably going to draw the scale slightly differently. It actually flattens a bit here, but you, you should, probably won't be penalised for that. Um, it should be roughly actually anti-symmetrical, so this distance here should be roughly the same, well, exactly the same distance here, but in terms of a sketch, you'll be okay if it's not perfect. So that's graph y equals x cubed, and um, it's worth it's worth just knowing that graph, to be honest. Okay, let's continue. This question says it's possible to draw many rectangles that have area 24 centimeters squared, and they give two examples. These both have area 24. How can we sketch this? Plot the dimensions of these. Um, depends what you want to call the width and what you want to call the length, to be honest. I think they mean that this 12 is the width and two is the length. So if I plot that, it's going to be here. I think it should be right if you do it the other way around because it doesn't actually specify which one is the width and which one's the length. Um, if I do the same with eight and three, then it's going to be here. Okay, so I've done the first bit. Complete the graph to show the relationship between length and width for rectangles with area 24 centimeters squared. So that essentially means find other rectangles with area 24 centimeters squared. Well, I got two for free. I could swap these around and have a width of 2 with a length of 12, and that's going to be up here. And I could do the same over here. I could have a width of 3 and a length of 8. Okay, so I get that for free. Now I need to think of some more points, though, because I, I want to, I, you know, I'm trying to actually plot an accurate graph here. Um, one that jumps out is one, so I might start writing pairs down now. I, I don't need to necessarily draw rectangles. So one times 24 is 24. So a width of 24 and a length of one would work. And a length of one and a width of 24 would work. So here, and that's really helping me uh, sort out the shape now. Um, I've covered the main factors of 24, actually. There are others that I could do, but probably this is enough. And then I can basically, but it's actually going to carry on. So 0.5 and 48 would be one. So I should extend this to the edge of the graph. Okay, that's not, not badly done at all. So we actually get this kind of graph. And what kind of, I mean, we're done. But what kind of graph is this? Well, we've basically just solved. Um, if I if I call this W and I call this L, then I've done W L equals 24. That's the graph I've drawn. I might write this as L equals 24 over W by rearranging. And I've essentially, I've essentially drawn the graph Y equals 24 over X. Um, if I now consider L to be Y, and w to be x, and this is known as a reciprocal graph. So they're essentially testing me on my ability to draw reciprocal graphs, but through this kind of more physical problem. But anyway, this is the answer.